General Motors calls this its A-body car. You've probably seen it called something else. Buick Century, Olds Cutlass Sierra, Pontiac 6000, or Chevrolet Celebrity. But the A-bodies are entering the hard-fought mid-size market. So how does it compare with a Ford Granada or Chrysler LeBaron? We put all three cars through days of testing that included a 30-mile loop. That gave us mileage figures and a pretty good idea of what each car is like on the road. The loop had a little of everything, city, highway, and potholes. The A-body we tested is the Chevrolet Celebrity. It rode more firmly than the others, but seemed to handle the bumps well. With the optional V6, the power was very good, and the mileage seemed very reasonable, 28 mpg. The Ford Granada is a big car inside and out, and it pretty much has to be. It's the only car of the three without space-saving front-wheel drive. Over the 30-mile test loop, the Ford floated and wallowed like a waterbed out of control. The Granada was the heaviest of the three. That and its bigger optional V6 combined for the worst gas mileage, 23 mpg. Now the Chrysler is the smallest and lightest of the group. The LeBaron seemed to take the bumps best of all, and it's bigger than standard four-cylinder engine with a match for the sixes in the other cars. The four cylinders and the LeBaron's lightweight gave it the best mileage, 33 mpg. Now inside, the cars are very close. The Celebrity seats just five because of a fixed armrest. The Chevrolet is the newest design, so as you'd expect, it has the most room in front and in back. The Ford Granada also seats five, even with standard seats. The driving position of the Granada is comfortable enough, but to get the comfort in the front seat, you have to shortchange the people here in the back seat. The LeBaron advertises six passengers, but the passengers in the middle should be kids or very friendly. In the LeBaron, I've got more than enough room for my legs and for my head, but in the back, there's just barely enough leg room and the headroom is short. Of course, the bottom line is price. The celebrity, as you see it here, with air conditioning, AM, FM, radio, and the V6, now costs $92.50, thanks to GM's new price cuts. A Granada with the same equipment would be a lot plainer than our test car and cost just $9,000. The LeBaron, with everything you see here, and air conditioning, automatic, and AM, FM, would cost about $9,300. Based solely on price, you'd buy the Granada, especially now with Ford's new rebate program. But actually, the Chevy and the LeBaron are better cars. Now, the Celebrity has a little nicer standard interior and does a little better on space. It just noses out the LeBaron. But if you're driving in town, most of the time, the LeBaron, with its tighter turning circle and four-cylinder engine for better mileage, may be the better choice. Still, if you're looking at any of these three cars and you're worried about spending $9,000, I can tell you how to get everything they've got for a lot less. Just tune in tomorrow night at 10. Ed Martell, Channel 5 Action News.